Hi, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Today we're going to continue the episode we started on the Society of the Divine Word. It's a mouthful. Monastery, which has a pretty cool historical steam printing press. Now, if you remember, in 1875, Arnold Jansen fled Germany in some religious persecution to start his monastery because he wanted to do missionary work, and they needed printing press because they needed printed materials to give to the missionaries, and it resulted in this very interesting and historical steam printing press. So today we want to walk you through the machinery of it. Now again, because the whole concept was to print materials for use in the missionary field, everything is centered around the steam printing press. And we're going to look at it in three components, the boiler, the steam engine, and the steam turbine. Well, if we're going to talk about steam, you know we're going to talk about boilers, and this one is a doozy. The boiler manufacturer was Steinmuller, and if my German is good, that's in Gummersbach, Germany, somewhere between 1952 and 1954. It originally ran on coal, but then in the 1970s was converted to gas and operated at about 325 PSI. And as you see in the picture here, you'll see a lot of stuff that you'll see on a boiler today. You'll see some water levels, you'll see a lot of valves. This was the heart of the operation. All right, from the boiler producing steam, we're going to go to the steam engine, and the steam engine is really what made everything work in the building. Uh, old timey, it powered uh, presses and pulleys and belts until 1956. Everything around that plant was tied to a pulley and a belt, and you may remember from some of our prior episodes we've done on cotton mills um, in the 1850s, the whole plant was tied to a belt and pulley system that was powered by a steam engine. This one in particular was a two-cylinder steam engine, so it had a high and a low pressure side. Steam would work through both valves and take uh, all that energy and move those uh, pistons and cylinders. Well, in 1956, there was a significant upgrade. We went from steam turning belts and pulleys to make mechanical motion. We went to a steam turbine, which means the steam is introduced and it mechanically turns these turbine blades that create electricity. And that turbine turns super fast, like 6,500 RPM and electricity is sent throughout the plant, and now that's how the presses were powered. Well, you know what, steam culture, we love steam tourism, and this is a great example. So if you're ever just casually in the Netherlands, or if you want to plan a trip, go see the Society of the Divine Word, check out the printing press, check out the steam, the boiler room, you'll love it. See you next time on Steam Culture.